in the newsroom and doing a very important job because as we know there was so much information coming out some disinformation an important note to everybody at home if you see something do a little bit of research before you share it um, there's been a lot of work to try to stop the spread of misinformation and yeah. our verify team is doing that all night so really uh, thankful to Caitlin and the whole team there and we do have some updates Zach. we do speaking of verified results we're going to tick through them we're going to start at the national level and we're going to get down to a, a particularly notable race call here in Atlanta but first the nationwide picture let's go right here the electoral map NBC now projects that Arkansas Arkansas will go for former President Donald Trump former President Donald Trump projected by NBC to carry Arkansas now let's get back to Georgia, because as we know, if you're watching this right now, you are focused on the Georgia story, and it has got a lot of stories to tell right here in the state of Georgia. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is projected to win, and she will continue on to a second term. Again, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis projected to carry Fulton County and win a second term in office with about 68% of the vote reporting Fonnie Willis with about a 68% to 32% lead over her Republican challenger Courtney Kramer. The Associated Press projects Fonnie Willis will have a second term as the district attorney in Fulton County and at the congressional level. Congressman Rich McCormick in Georgia's 7th congressional district he is projected to win over his Democratic challenger, Bob Christian. Right now, Rich McCormick with about a 64 to 35 percent lead in Georgia's seventh. The AP, really big win there. Yeah, the AP calling Georgia's seventh for Rich McCormick, sending him back to Congress. And what's interesting about DA's race, Bonnie Willis, she has continued to say we're going to win this race. This is not really a competitive race. But we saw Courtney Kramer on the stages of a lot of these um, Trump rallies, right. uh, a lot of the surrogate events. She got a lot of money for this race as well. Clearly, a young person right. who the Republican Party sees that could potentially have a future. Um, so this might not be the last time that we're seeing her. Of course. And kind of a nationalized race too. You talk about a it local is. district yeah. attorney, yeah. one county, it, it, it's basically the Atlanta DA, it's the Atlanta Judicial Circuit. Right. A lot of people across the country know Fonnie Willis's name. Was that part of the reason that there was so much attention on this race, Deanna? Well, of course, you know, she's uh, prosecuting our president. And so um, that's why they have put so much behind the Georgia young Republican, Courtney Kramer, who has a very bright future ahead of her. But that 32% is pretty decent if you ask me for a Republican in Democrat Fulton County. Uh, so she didn't do as bad as we thought, um, but um, we kind of expected that outcome. And I mean, it's interesting. You have a former president who has gone through a lot of litigation, uh, <laughs> specifically here in Fulton County. Yes. Uh, Kyle, even given the fact that we had one of the I don't know if you could call it historic because it had happened before by the time it got to Fulton County, but certainly it was historic for our state. A right. uh, former president who was charged and then um, arrested here in Fulton County. It does not seem to sway his voters much. In fact, it raised more money for him. It, uh, uh, it ignited this kind of fight within his voters. How do Democrats combat that? Well, I mean, I think uh, the way Democrats combat that is just as Republicans obviously have used uh, what they believe to be a witch hunt uh, to, you know, raise dollars and engage their voters, uh, Democrats, uh, you know, period uh, repeatedly and consistently emphasize, you know, issues of democracy and issues of rule of law and, you know, sometimes turning the tables where traditionally Republicans, you know, used, used to argue a lot about supporting the rule of law and now it's harder to make that argument. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so I think Democrats have been able to use that uh, to their advantage. And I congratulate Fonnie Willis. And, I, you know, I, we certainly feel that she's conducted herself well and has handled herself well as a district attorney. You might recall she uh, uh, took the office from an incumbent who was very powerful and at a time when that office was in disarray and has completely turned it around. And we should be clear, we, every, any time, every time we talk about the Fulton County election interference case, we do want to be clear. So far, no convictions. Uh, folks right. are presumed innocent until yeah. proven otherwise. This is a complicated, complex criminal case that is still moving along. So we just want to be always very clear when we're talking about this. No convictions at this point. No convictions Faith. at this point. Uh, we do have another update for you. NBC is calling 
the state of Delaware for Vice President Kamala Harris. Once again, NBC calling the state of Delaware for Vice President Kamala Harris. Taking another look at the map here, we now have over 52% of the estimated vote totals. We're zooming in here to Metro Atlanta. We have numbers for lots of places. Still don't have any numbers for DeKalb yet. You see Fulton County, those numbers coming in at just over 400,000. So we do have some more votes coming in there. We do want to get out to our uh, political